it continues to amaze me how much like a religion uh, many branches of so-called secular science have become. Now, here's an interesting uh, book review uh, interview with a guy from Harvard who wrote a new book on the multiverse theory. And so they're talking about the multiverse theory here. He says, it's like a long-running TV series of new characters replacing the old ones. Well, that's interesting. It is it is a long discussion here. Uh, now, they go on and they say, here, this is interesting. Um, in 1998, when the discovery of the acceleration and expansion of the universe was announced, when the re Hubble constant was recalculated, um, that changed the game. And now you had this apparent force called dark energy, apparent only because they had to invent the artificial imaginary construct in order to save their current understanding of things, uh, which had to be a multitude of a magnitude that the fundamental physical theories we had could not explain. But they still want to hang on to their theories anyway. Well, that freed up physicists to explore outside the prevailing view uh, that there was one specification for all the forces and properties of the universe led to the idea there could be a multiverses. Multiverses. That amount produces a universe that's hospitable for life. Okay, so the Goldilocks thing about our planet Earth being just right for, for life and the incredible odds that they knew and could calculate and easily guesstimate anyway, that it, the odds of, of our planet being the one that's the lucky planet that can have life was so far out there. They said, well, there's billions and billions of planets, so ours was just the lucky one. Then they realized the universe is also weirdly tuned to be able to sustain life on at least one of the planets. And so now they're realizing that's so astronomically improbable that they're saying, then there are billions of universes and we're just in the lucky one. Yeah, luck. It's all depending on luck. And they're calling this not metaphysical. This is a religious belief and it's it's not a sign. Look, it's not a metaphysical question. I'm sorry, this is the definition of a metaphysical question. Something that's only imaginary. And you know, there's nothing wrong with being imaginary. There's nothing. But they're claiming, oh, this is this is empirical science. No, no, it's not. And it can't be. You, these by definition, these are universes that you can't get in touch with, you can't experiment with, can't do the scientific method, you can't know. It's just in your mind, and it always will be. Look at this. It says, well, the guy says, I would not wager on this being true because I only bet on sure things. But I like the idea. I find it pleasing. Uh, I just have to wait as the evidence comes in. You know, when we creationists say that we find the creationist paradigm pleasing, uh, they call us religious fanatics, and yet they can do it. There's the double standard. There's the contradiction in thinking. Well, you, you just keep thinking objectively and hold on to the paradigm that pleases you. That's the actual true one. God bless, Dr. J.